Panama is truly a tropical paradise. It's quite popular with seaworthy folks who enjoy some of the best views in the world. From Panama City, we hopped on a tiny plane to the Caribbean coast. The guy in the front of me was quite friendly and thought my knee was his armrest. We were excited to live near the indigenous people of Panama and see the secluded islands of San Blas. On the island where we were staying, the conch shell is the most important sound on the island. It tells you when it's time to eat food or when it's time to hop on the boat for a tour. The snorkeling here is world class and the view above water isn't too bad either. Snorkeling is like treasure hunting. You never know what you'll find. There was a few interesting shells just below the sand that were left there by local hermit crabs. The water glistened with each passing wave as the tiny bait fish cruise on the edge of safety near the deep water. We found a feather duster worm that was guarded by an aggressive little fish. It's Quincy's favorite aquatic invertebrate, so we had to get a closer look at its quick reflexes. Tommy and crew took us to another island as the storm approached. Even in the murkier water, we saw a few big starfish and massive sea urchins. Once he showed our group the creature's topside, we swam them back home to their buddies. The Kuna people have a strong respect for the sea and its inhabitants, because most of their food comes from hand-caught fish or plantains and coconuts from the forest. Then the rain came pouring down. It was amazing to see handmade thatch huts built with such precision. Not a drop of rain got into our room. Tommy also gave us a tour of the village of the Kuna people, where his family lives. We saw one of their famously bright colored molas for sale and a little girl with her pet monkey that was pretty feisty. Once back on the mainland, we had a long drive to get to the Pacific. Talking is great and all, but listening to Panamanian radio is hilarious. The DJ sings along with the songs, and they are horrible. Watch out, big ear deer. Come on, man. To get to the secret shell beach, you have to know the password to get through security. They may just look like cows, but they are some stubborn mules. We tried yelling Spanish, honking, whispering, even scaring them. Come on. Come on. But the only thing that works is waving a white piece of paper. Yeah. Vamanos, vacas. Vamanos. Vamanos. Gracias. 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 The variety of shells was pretty remarkable, and we had to blow the conch shell multiple times to get Quincy to come to lunch. There's also world-class scuba diving on the Pacific coast. We saw a huge humpback whale swimming, so we stopped and cut off the engines to hear him singing. Once we made it to Koiba Island, we saw all kinds of wildlife. Like sea turtles, parrotfish, pufferfish, lobsters, eels, and white tip sharks. The scorpion fish were laying on the rocks, waiting for a meal. Even the fish were on island time, just laying around all day. The frogfish is equally as lazy as he just holds on tight. I think he was trying to mimic a sponge. It surprisingly can attack in six milliseconds. There's something pretty amazing about Koiba Island. It's really rare to see an entire island and marine sanctuary totally uninhabited by humans. Of course, there's also great surf all over Panama's coast. Some secret spots and others not so secret. All in all, we'd highly recommend a trip to Panama on the Pacific or the Caribbean side.